Hello again, back here with another one. A great bit of sunset there behind me there. Red sky at night though is not a good, not a good omen I think. But anyway, we'll, we'll take a dry spell when we get it all. But this one, we're just cleaning out a bit of a shed. And I'll just show you around the crush here and a few few gates that I'm after making up. I'll just show you that there now while, while I'm waiting for the mix there to just finish off mixing up there. That load filled up now anyway, we'll see about heading down. A good jog on it there now. Open this. Heading in here, I'll drop off this load. Down to the nearest field that we have here. A couple of load there out before. Nice pick of grass coming on it there now. Tractor just tell me it's a little low in oil, but enough to tip the load anyway. Off. Just cleaning in front of the, the feeding pass, the feeding barriers there in front of the cows, just to tidy it up a bit there for might get another couple of three weeks out of maybe, and by hopefully. It'll be going out by then. Straw is not overly plentiful now, so we'll try to get them out as early as we can, weather permitting, of course, but it's not looking great at the minute for turnout. But uh, at this time of the year, you could get one week, it'd make an awful difference. But try up for a while anyway. Hopefully, we'll, we'll get it. But grass, as you see there, grass has been growing quite well, like it's mild enough for the time of year right bit of cover there on these fields we have here and there would be a nice pick of grass if it could if it dry up a bit that we could let them out anyway keep them going now i'll just show you these three gates that i made up here there's a gate that i'm just going to pull across the end there from there to here just have a swing in in and out back towards or in the way just to get down along beside the crush and i made up two short gates then to go here 
and just go from this post back just to close off this to the cattle the cattle can't scoot in around there to the side we'll have to come straight out and another one here this one will hang on the original the original gate hangers that was there and it'll um, close in and out i just want to put uh, a bolt there that'll go straight down into the ground rather than a pin coming this way because with the uh, weighing scales and that I know you probably could put a slot pin there but you as well just to keep it away from the actual cray itself that there'll be nothing about the weight there'll be nothing holding the weight and the same on this side when this one is hanging I'll put a bolt down into the ground should be no big pressure on these gates anyhow it's just more of a block the line of sight or block them from that they won't see an easy route back in there and come down beside you or what have you they wouldn't they wouldn't be really going to come down beside you but as sure as you'd have bottles of stuff or anything left there to come down and turn over the whole thing on you just to show you this um, bolt i had done on this gate sort of copy of the, the actual bolt that's on the that's on the actual crush unit itself just pull it up it's on the cam and as you pull it up it'll draw back the pin spring loaded so just hand it over one handed and just pull it up and away you go should be a good job all it is is just a 45 degree cut there and it'll cam itself back out then it'll draw itself back spring here it's 25 mil it's actual shafting um shouldn't shouldn't break i've seen some of the others the three quarter inch anyway or 20 mil i've seen them snap from time to time they'll break they'll break right hit right hit the the hole there for the roll pin they'll just snap across i've seen gates coming flying out with them the cattle give them a good shot now and come at you so this should this shouldn't should be no pressure on it here anyway but any pins i make from now on will make them from 20 mil and uh be safer anyway and just hang this one then just hang it off this post here and we're closing across here and it should should be a good job we'll go from there want to see about making up hangers there now i probably probably in the next video i might show behind that and welding them on here and down there down here as well just to hang the gate hole just just to be something show something and we'll have to drill this drill this here put a sort of a slotty hole in it so that the gate can close and fasten into yeah i need off now i'm going to end the video here if you like what you see give us a like and a subscribe subscribe and cost you nothing and maybe share if you feel like it all that helps helps progress the channel along a bit and get me out there a bit more that's it cheerio then